Um, all power berries is a little bit of a different category from marriage. There are 11 power berries in the game, and uh, they work a little bit like achievements. Um, we gotta find them, and each one increases your stamina and fatigue, and that's what we're gonna do. Um, I mean, I'm probably ready to go start it up whenever. It's a little bit longer of a run, but it's got some pretty cool tricks. Um, I personally love this game. But, um, it, ready whenever you are. Alright, fantastic. Uh, timing starts on pressing start in this game, which is great. And, uh, timing will end upon me opening up my inventory and showing that I have the 11th power berry. I think that's how we still time it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I've got it. It's like, it's like, um, <clears throat> it's like closing, like not closing, like I'm okay, but it, it did close earlier today. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's count it down, shall we? Three, two, one, go. Ooh, double A's, double A strats. This is actually a, uh, an RNG manip right there. <laughs> Alright, Hein sounds good. Enjoy the lurk. Um, if you were here for the Friends of Mineral Town run, um, the intro to the game is a little bit different. This is the girl version of the game, and Friends of Mineral Town is the boy version. The girl version, um, the lore's, uh, a little bit, a little bit, um, hazy to me, but I'm pretty sure, um, you work a job you really don't like and decide you want to, uh, you know, buy a farmland and move out, move out to the country. Live off the land. So you show up here, you saw an ad for it, make a call, you show up, um, the mayor shows up and he's, uh, Kind of harassing you. So you, uh, attempt to kill him. <laughs> um, if you press keep hitting there, uh, the game rolls credits. <laughs> if you, or if you press no way there, the game rolls credits. Became a girl boss, exactly. The farm's just handed to you in uh, Friends of Mineral Town. You got it written to you in a will. You went out of your way to get it in this one. Where'd he go? The dog likes to uh, go on its own little adventures and uh, run away from home. It was unfortunate. <sighs> Normally, um, the dog stays relatively close, but he seems to have taken off. Okay. All right. We'll find him eventually. That's cool. <laughs> um, so right now we're kind of just um, spending a little time looking for the uh, dirt berry. Um, sometimes you don't get it early. We might just end up skipping it. We gotta do a couple little things. We might have left already. He's pretty quick. Pretty quick for an old man. There he is. Excuse me, sir. And uh, we have to meet him to get the horse. <laughs> the chibi, the chibi is a little different in the remake of this, but I think the remake is really good overall. A new take on the 2D sprites. That's fair. That's fair. Oh! 
He just appeared out of nowhere. Good boy. <laughs> we need to put the dog inside because uh, every single night we sleep in this game, we have to hold the dog in our hands. Because if we don't, we lose like two and a half to three seconds a night. This is one of my least favorite power berries to get. Because um, it is extremely RNG heavy. Um, the dirt berry on your farm requires you to... Um, Essentially, you just um, till the land. And uh, it appears. The problem is, it's based on like um, the frame you swing. Uh, let's save slot two here. Two to three seconds of night lost. It's honestly, it, it's crazy. Like, the, the amount of time it takes every time you sleep, if you're not holding your dog, is astronomical. Because it um, has to calculate where your dog goes during the rest of the day, and where he'll end up the next day, and it takes forever. <laughs> Why is there always a yelping dog sound effect? I don't know, it, it's for exiting the menus, it's for pressing B. <laughs> the chicken is the confirm noise, the yelping dog is the the cancel noise. Um so what I'm doing right now is I'm setting up a trick called the Nick Slip. Um we found it a long long time ago and it wasn't really used. Oof. That's unfortunate. Rick events. Excuse me. Um, and this is going to let us get into the mine early. A uh, nice little moonwalk. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do the other one first, but I don't think it matters that much. Yep, we got his event. <laughs> the Black Heart event is um is pretty free in this. Um, what's interesting about more Friends of Mineral Town is that you can hit the Black Heart event for all of the um all of the female, like all the bachelorettes. They're still included in the game, which is actually great because we use it in a different glitch that won't be in this run. But it's pretty neat. What's the estimate for? Uh, like for this run, uh, I think four hours. I'm shooting for like 3.30. Um, what we're doing right now is a little trick called mine skipping. What is the end goal for this run? Uh, is to collect all of the 11 power berries. And the power berries are these little tiny berries that are hidden through different achievements in the game. And uh, we're going to get all 11 of them. A hey, nice mine time. This run's got uh, some pretty RNG heavy elements to it, but I'm gonna hope to cut down on those the most that I can. As far as I'm aware, More Friends of Mineral Town doesn't have a category yet for power berries. So if we finish a run, uh, it should be World Rookie.
Nothing more calming than a mind skipping at 1 a.m. on a Sunday. That's what I'm talking about. You guys are gonna see this a lot. We do it about 200 times. <laughs> We're gonna do a hard reset here because um, it allows for RNG manipulation. Um, most of the RNG in this game is based off the frame, um, the frame count from hard reset. say that and I'm not gonna hit it. There it is, okay good. <laughs> Getting a little stressed there. <laughs> yes, yeah, save data one. That was Monday today fair. <laughs> We're gonna go down a little farther here. To my favorite floor in this game, uh, floor 30. Like most of the uh, Harvest Moon games and uh, Story of Seasons games, money is quite a uh, constraint when you're speedrunning it. Um, we will be betting on the horse race in this run, but um, we have a couple of other ways to get some money too that we're going to be doing. Essentially how mind skip works is we um, pause the same frame that we're stepping on those stairs there and loading another save. Um, and this, and then that allows you to store the text that says, uh, would you like to go down? That text right there. It kind of just puts it in the back burner, and then when you exit the menu and the other save, it pulls it back up. Um, it's really neat. <laughs> Does this trick work in the remake? Sadly, no. Thankfully, the remake has holes you can fall down, though. And it makes mining a lot faster. Then, I mean, not than this, but then vanilla mining in this. Glitchless mining in this. Same thing here. We're gonna hard reset for RNG. This RNG is a little bit more finicky, um, but it, it is significantly better than um, it used to be. We're looking for very specific items on this massive floor. Uh, two, four, six, it's not here. Did this one spawn? No? Yes. Interesting. And normally they it's one or the other. Or I mean normally it's if one is there, the other is two. We're gonna do it again. Uh yeah, sure. How much longer is this? Like mine skipping? I do it at the front of the run. Um because I'm so fatigued by the end of this run that I don't want to do it at the end. <laughs> um, 
We've got one power berry. We have to go get the other one in the other mine, which is 100 full floors. And then we have to go down to 32 more times. So 160 more floors. Again. We got that same seat again. That's so odd. On Switch they did. Interesting. This one might be it. This, this one's looking a lot better for me. So we're looking for those pink diamonds. It's not here again, rip. Uh, let's go check our backup spots. That's okay. One more reload, you get it. On the NSO. Makes sense. There's two. Big. All right. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna warp out of here because technically we're trapped. <laughs> Just like menu storage, we can store loading zones, and as long as you're uh, facing the same way, you teleport out on your other save. Wild strats. Yup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm a big fan of it. Oh, we're gonna do the same thing again here. And go down to uh, 30 and get two pink diamonds. Um, pink diamonds sell for 10 grand in this. Which is, like, huge compared to every single thing else we can sell in this game right now. Running around in this game takes so much time. Most of my time is um, is trying to manage exactly the routes I'm taking so I can get everywhere on time. And then we're back at it. A really uh, hard part about speedrunning this game is uh, your save management. You get two save slots, and you have to do all of the tricks with them. All of the tricks in this game <laughs> involve saving and loading. <laughs> A lot of menuing, but honestly, it's not too bad. Um, once you get the hang of mind skip, like... As long as you're not accidentally overwriting some of your saves, you're fine. And you kind of just get the hang of it. It's a very, uh, very similar rhythm. If you guys have any questions though about this game or this run in general, 
now would probably be the time because we're gonna be doing this for a hot second <laughs> Power Barriers is such a unique category from, you know, marriage. Most of the runs in this game are done in the marriage route, and they're all, like, an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes now. Which is awesome. Um, it came down a lot from where I started speedrunning this game. Um, when I first started speedrunning, um, I really wanted to do some Harvest Moon. Um, so I did Friends of Mineral Town, and uh, I was routing doing Mary, and there wasn't there wasn't a board on speedrun.com yet for it, so I had to finish a run and then submit it, and then, you know, submit it with, like, submitting the game for the, uh, the speedruns.com. Um, and Mary, my first run clocked in around seven hours, I think, and then I averaged around five after that. Um, and for a long time, runs were three to four hours long in this. Um... Some runs a lot quicker. Popery was, you know, just above two hours. Good morning and good luck. Thank you so much. Um, and then the game just kind of, um, it hung out for a little bit. And then we found, you know, Mind Skip, Nick Slip, uh, Tech Storage. And that cut down a lot of time in runs. Um, and then the game's boards just kind of stagnated a little bit until the end of last year um when um we found a way to implement some new 6am stuff that uh significantly cut down runs some new glitches and it's been it's been an awesome time i I've, i spend most of my time just rerouting and routing and rerouting this game over the past like two months <laughs> it's, it's really cool seeing a game evolve that much in that short amount of time Mary Best Girl, <laughs> good first choice. So, um, funny thing is, I thought I thought marrying Mary would be the easiest. That's why I did it, um, because vegetable juice is easier to obtain. Like in my mind back then, um, Popery is my preferred run in this game. I love Popery. <laughs> Sure, I've seen it happen. <laughs> but I like Mary too. Yeah, Mary's definitely my second favorite in this. But Popery's got pink hair, so. No marriage in this run. One of the few ones that don't have marriage. We will be, uh, we will be neglecting the townsfolk. Barely speaking to them. <laughs> we'll speak to the Kappa, though, and the Goddess a bunch. And, uh, some of the Harvest Sprites. Friends of Mineral Town and more Friends of Mineral Town is pretty unforgiving with uh, affection points as well. Um, especially like gifting the goddess and the kappa. Like it's a pain. Um, the This game has a pretty, pretty brutal decay system for affection. So if you don't talk to somebody for a full day, they have a 10% chance to lose 100 affection just because. And that used to be a huge problem in runs. It still is now when you're trying to, like, go for really, really optimal. Holy cow, that's rough. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Um, so normally, like, when I'm routing for this, I factor in a bunch of extra just in case. Because it, it can get pretty bad. Uh, did we get it? Oh, yeah. No. Interesting. 
There are a bunch of different patterns for the uh, mine down here, but um, pink diamonds can only spawn in like six to... It's like between six and eight spots, but it's only like five super early seeds like this, like mashing through. And uh, two pink diamonds spawn in the same spot pretty frequently. Um, depending on the run, um, it's more consistent. Power Berries is a little funky because of how I do my mine setups. Yeah. Rip. We're getting the other one at least. No. Interesting. But yeah, we are. Okay. Any backups? These backups, a lot of these backups don't roll until way later in the seed pool. Um, and I know that this is a lot of like technical mumbo jumbo, but um, essentially there's like a finite amount of spaces that the pink diamonds can spawn. Um, and it kind of rolls differently depending on how long you are from hard reset. And that factors in this trick right here, too. Like, that's counted towards your frames there. Um, so you kind of just hope you get it early. There's a lot of frames. There's a lot in the pool where um, these spawn. Again, with that weird one. So odd. Let's, uh, let's try to do it faster, huh? Shall we? So odd. There's one, okay. Uh, no, it's not here, is it? Two, four, six. It'll be here. Six. All right, cool. It's the Dark Souls of dating. It honestly is. It's brutal. It's brutal. <laughs> It's like bordering on the territory of not being fair. The horse's affection? The horse's affection plummets insanely fast. <laughs> like, even on days you talk to the horse. Like, it just constantly drains. He doesn't like you or something? Hell if I know. This is the last time we have to go in this mine. And then we just do the other one and we're done mining. Her timing is a little bit off here. We're a little bit ahead of her. Come on. In the house. Um, if you're wondering why I'm holding a flower in my hand, it's because uh, if you have an item in your hand, you can skip most of the cinematics in this game. <laughs> uh, in the hard events. They won't trigger if you're holding an item. Thank you. 
Uh, a little bit on the history of this run. I think my first ever completed run of this took 10 hours. And then, uh... MadTaz64 came and crushed it by like a whole two hours. And at that point I kind of took a break. Um, and then I remember... Uh, Harvest Moon Valentine's... Ooh, it had to be... Two or three. Um, and right before that I found Mindskip. And MadTaz was running, uh was running all power berries in it and it saved so much time on vanilla mining oh my gosh yeah yeah the chicken i'm sorry <laughs> it's pretty brutal Yeah, when you can't skip them, it's awful. I totally get that. So, you know, we find ways around it. Um, but yeah, it's ended up saving, like, like we used to m vanilla mine to level 19 in here and vanilla mine to level 100. And it took forever. So finding mine skips saved, like, four hours in this run. Yeah, yeah, it, it cut this run in half, finding this trick. We need six total. Um, so this will be the last set of two. This cuts out, um, 60 grand for the run, and in the run we need roughly 100k. Um, sometimes like 110k. This run we need like 110k, 115k. And this cuts out half of it. Normally we'd, we'd bet on a horse race a second time, but I don't like that. I want to cut out as many horse races as I can. That is my whole goal. I hope to eventually cut out horse races entirely from this game. Um, and I have a route for it. It's just brutal. <laughs> it requires some pretty good um, pink diamond RNG. Might test it out one day. Um, right now in Marriage, I just started running with... Um, um, four pink diamonds, and that saves about eight minutes or so over horse race storage. It, it's it's dicey because horse race storage really depends on how fast your menus are and how good your RNG is. But it, it's pretty quick for um, four pink diamonds, and then you duplicate one. The problem in this game is you can duplicate an item, but only once ever. Horse races are the best. <laughs> Thankfully, in this game, we have a really good manip for it. Or, like, um, we have a, a table that has um, all of the horse races for, like, the first 120 frames. Um, I'm sleeping the night before. So you can kind of uh, know the winner beforehand. We have a little cheat sheet. You guys did it though. See, you guys you guys have made it through already just 90 floors. Like we've already done 90 floors. And we only have a hundred more. <laughs> Don't hate the run though, I promise. It's not bad. It, it gets way cooler after this. <laughs> um well, the game devs decided they needed to put um Power berries on floor 100, so.
What's really nice about this though, um, after finding uh, pink diamond manipulation like this, is that um, we kind of understand the mines a lot more now. And um, I think it'll benefit greatly in other runs. I'm very excited for it. Ooh. Spicy? Spicy first try? A spicy first try? Maybe. Maybe. Ooh, awesome. Um, Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town is a little brutal because um, they only give you two rucksack slots to start. You can hold two items in your backpack and one in your hand. Very tiny backpack. And the first upgrade costs 3,000, the second costs 5,000. So, um, this time we're doing it in the other mine, um, the one that we have access to all year round. Um, the power berry we got in the lake mine was on floor 19. The power berry in this one is on floor 100. Honestly, speedrunning Friends of Mineral Town is really fun, though, because you get to take a game that's just inherently slow-paced and push it to its absolute breaking point. Like, shattering the sub-two-hour barrier this year was huge. Shattering sub-140, huge in marriage. Like, crazy. It makes it, it makes it, I feel like it makes this game much more accessible, even though we are like doing a ton of tricks like this, and they, they probably look, you know, pretty tedious or pretty intimidating. Um, they aren't too bad to learn, and they don't take a terrible amount of practice, and they make for a really exciting run, honestly. Most of them are frame perfect. Um... I lovingly refer to this game as uh, more Frames of Mineral Town, and the boy version is Frames of Mineral Town, but... What's nice about this game is that you can save anywhere, so you get to save before all of your tricks and just reload them and try them over and over and over again if you fail. After this one, we get to do the fun berries. Um, we get to grow some crops. Normally, I never grow crops in these runs. It's very rare. Um, we'll be growing cucumbers uh, for the kappa, and then um, we'll be sleeping a ton, and um, essentially having our dog grow up a year early, and our, ho our horse grow up, like, 60 days early. Technically, it's like 45 days early for the dog. And like... 75 for the horse, but... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Silly stuff. I'm 
But yeah, these older versions of the game aren't super forgiving. Um, there is an item, there are several items in this game uh, called rings in more Friends of Mineral Town that are achievement based. Um, and running an all rings category has been, you know, a dream of mine for quite some time because I think it's fun and silly and cool. Um, the problem is one of the rings requires you to have uh, 10 million steps on your pedometer. And that takes an obscene amount of time. Like crazy. Like just hours of just running into the wall. All right, here's 25. Quarter of the way. Are there any more... Are there any manips to add more steps to the pedometer without walking? Um, pulling out the pedometer puts uh, a step on it, I'm pretty sure. Um, mashing the sprint button puts steps on it faster. But um, not nearly fast enough. We would have to have some crazy... Here's the problem with it, too. Like, even if we did find some crazy underflow for the pedometer to, you know, set it to its max value, it has to hit 100,000 or 100 million or 10 million. What did I say? I don't remember what it is. It's 10 million or 100 million steps. It's a lot. It has to hit that number exactly. So if we go over it with, like, underflow, we don't get it. You don't get the ring. Um, no, the pedometer is just for the, um, for the little rings in this game. They're in the remake of this game as well. Um, I don't know if the pedometer is the same requirement, but I know some of the other ones are easier in the remake. The remake really slapped training wheels on it. Honestly. Seedling mode is crazy. Your animals never die in the remake. Breeding animals is a pain in the ass in the remake. Um, because you have to do things like... Um, they have max affection in the remake of this game. But definitely. Definitely. An easier, an easier game. In my opinion. I loved it though. I mean... <laughs> I've got 200 hours on Switch. And a ton of hours on PC in it. I think I own three copies of that game. I own the Japanese release of uh, Sauce Fomped, the English release of Sauce Fomped, on Switch, and then the PC release of Sauce Fomped. This right here, though, yeah, we're grabbing the last power berry we need in this mine, in this brutal, brutal mine. Um, normally you would have to do this manually. I don't know how they ever intended people to do this without um, using both of your saves to essentially you find the the um, the stairs on the next floor, reload your save at the beginning of that floor, and go and hit just those stairs so you only expend one stamina. And even then, it is extremely hard to get down. And even then you have a chance that stairs don't spawn to go down further. It is, it is, the mines in this game are awful, atrocious. I don't know how I ever did them vanilla um, before we found mine skip. They were just brutal, honestly. It was, it was brutal and grueling and... We did it all the time. I'm really hoping they put this on uh, Game Boy Advance on NSO. Because I'd like to run it with the Pro Controller. Um, right now I run it on the Wii U with the Wii U Pro Controller, and I just... 
the feel of it's not the best. But we get by. Oops. Alright, we're halfway there. Only a few more, only a few more mind skips and we're good. We're golden. Oof. Totally get that this is like kind of a deterrent from the power berries run, but um, you can really do this at any point in the run. I just prefer to get it all out of the way at the front. Um, you could definitely do it though, like after the second horse race, after all the RNG is done, or like after uh, I guess fishing rod, like after you upgrade the fishing rod and catch the fishing berry, you could do this, but. And we're all, we're still in the first day of spring. You don't want to save this thrilling gameplay for the end of the run? You're, you're right, honestly. Just go out with a bang. <laughs> Full send. 200 mine floors at the end of a three hour run. Plus I do this at the beginning in all my marriage categories. Not this extensive, like um, I only do two dives to floor 30 for pink diamonds. <laughs> so I'm so used to doing it at like the front of my run. Nothing, nothing could go wrong. <laughs> How goes runs? Oh, they goes. Not too bad. We're just climbing uh, to floor 100 here to get our uh, spring mine berry. Sixty-four. We need to go really far down in this mine. Uh, both of the mines have 255 floors. In year three, if you come to the bottom floor in this, to 255, you can get the teleport stone, which lets you teleport anywhere on the map. It's awesome. Uh, you have to climb 255 floors, though, and wait until the third year. That part's awful. This game has a lot of really grueling tasks like that for casual playthroughs. Thankfully, we don't do a lot of them in speedruns, but, like... Um, you unlock the mountain cottage, a second house, um, or third, um, after f your 50th anniversary in the game, which is crazy. <laughs> the venueing is very nice, TBH. <laughs> Thanks, Fails. Yep, 
Power berries. Power berries with the mind skips, crazy. I do these so often though that it's like I used to not be able to look at chat. Like look at chat, I would have to sit here and hard focus and do it perfectly. But it's it kind of just a rhythm game now. I spent my first 45 minutes of the run playing uh, Guitar Hero. First hour. <laughs> 25 more. You know what's so crazy is that everybody always points out the noises that the menu makes. But like after running this game, you kind of just like they're in the back of your head. You ignore them like I I don't notice until somebody points it out the you know, the chicken every time and whatnot. It's when I get to these lower fo floors that I'm afraid of overriding my save. And then we'd have to restart. We'd have to restart the dig down, not, you know, all the other ones we did, but we'd have to start from 1 back to 100. Awful. Through the lower parts of the mine. I was just talking about that fails. Like, I don't know how I ever did vanilla mining in this. Like, crazy. Crazy. Hey, Nico. It's like just casually get to 255. It's cool. Yeah, here's your eight rucksack slots. Good luck. <laughs> Yep, yeah, exactly, the double save method. Yeah, so you didn't waste any stamina. Which is crazy, because that's definitely how the devs intended it, right? Like, <laughs> Somebody sat there and I was like, yeah, they're gonna have to use both their save slots for this. <laughs> like, you wanna hit 255 and get the real cool stuff? You know, first off, don't go there in the first two years. You'll never make it. Second off, even with max stamina and a whole inventory full of items that refill it, you're not going to make it without using both saves. Good luck. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> and we did it! <laughs> um, I spend a lot of time... I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, like the Fogu website. That has all the information on Harvest Moon games. I spend a ton of time on the old forums there for this game. Literally looking at every single conspiracy that anybody has ever had. And trying to prove whether or not it was a glitch or not. <laughs> um, which is crazy. <laughs> you find a lot of really neat stuff there. It's really cool. It's like looking through history almost the old forums on there oh man you just run into some of the silliest stuff but um i have run into a ton of people saying they get two power berries on floor 19 of the other mine and i am really looking into it lately because it would skip this 100 floor dive if you could get them both on if you could get two on 19 a ton of people say that they do. And they don't know why, and I don't know why, but I imagine it's some sort of spaghetti code. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Alright. 
RNG manipulation. <laughs> Whoops. That might not be quick enough. Uh. Okay. <sighs> Alright, good. Sick. <laughs> nice. Yeah, thanks for the GG. It is it is a brutal climb. We're done. We're done in the mines for now. <laughs> Hopefully for the remainder of the run. And that gives us two of our 11 power berries already. This is the hard one to find, so uh, given the opportunity, I'm gonna I'm gonna swing around a little bit here and hope we get it. Um, because we want to spend a lot of our downtime leveling up the fishing rod and not doing this. And there you go, the uh, longest spring two you'll probably ever see in this run. <laughs> in this game. <laughs> we did it though, we made it. <laughs> yeah, um, you can catch a power berry in the ocean during the winter, but you have to have your fishing rod at, uh, at Mithril. Um, so I have, I have, you know, manips for the, uh, the power berries in the mines. Um, the problem is, uh, it doesn't work the same out here. And every time you swing, um, it rolls a chance for you to get it. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, but now we're on uh, spring four. We have 60 grand in the bank. We're doing pretty good for ourselves. My favorite horse name, A. If we don't find it here, it's not the biggest deal. I just prefer it. It's 6 a.m. in the mines. Uh, I run it on Wii U. It runs really fast on there, and hard resetting is easy. Um, I know Desert plays on Game Boy Player. But yeah, most of us run on Wii U, I think. Wii U does really well with Game Boy emulation.
This is actually crazy. This is really bad RNG. Uh, now we're going to spend a bunch of money. <laughs> the gamepad controls? Yeah, I use a pro controller. <laughs> I used to run with the gamepad though, I just, it is hard to hold, it is hard to hold. Today is Bold's birthday, and uh, he loves flower, as do all of the sprites in this. Um, and now that we're best friends with him, um, because we gave him flower on his birthday, we can hire him to come on water for us. <laughs> So he's gonna water our cucumbers for us, so, don't, so I don't have to worry about it nearly as much. You know what, let's grab the fishing bowl while we're out. Well, we might want to buy a second pair of seeds to be safe. Do I like safety that much? Do I value it that much? Probably. In a marathon setting? Sure. I'll allow it. I am, uh... I'm pretty notorious for taking some YOLO strats. Um, I rarely ever do horse race manip anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> unless it's, like, right in my face. This gives us the fishing pole. The only, uh, the only tool, one of the, I guess one of the only tools that, um, you don't get right from the start. For AP to make friends, yep, one bag of flour on Bold's birthday, which is spring four. We're friends. He's got three hearts. We're good. <laughs> We're buddies. the other fast solution of money. Yeah. Um, we need 200 wood for the first house upgrade. Um, buying it is significantly faster <laughs> than chopping it. We used to chop it in the runs um, because it's very expensive to buy. Um, but we make so much money now in these runs that it doesn't matter. Never escape my ideas. You're infinite. <laughs> um, we're gonna till some more for the the farm berry and hope we get it. In a normal run of this, I do this first and I reset if I don't get it right away. Most of the time it's in this first quadrant here. Um, just a pain to move stuff. But uh, then again, like, we don't understand how the RNG on this one works. Um, I know that it's per swing it checks, though. Until, all my th until I complete all my theories, there's no time to rest. Um, Nico comes up with some really, really interesting stuff in this game, um, and has led to a lot of really cool uh, glitches that are used in the speedrun today. So Nico will normally find something, and then I'll find a, I'll find a way to use it. 
This is crazy. I don't think I've ever gone this long without getting it. Zach yelling at me like I have nothing to ship, like I didn't just make 60 grand in my first day on the farm. This game needs to be cool right now. There's never too much when it comes to helpful glitches, exactly. Excuse me, sir. Put that down. Yes, yes, you're very tired. I need you to find this, and then you won't be nearly as tired every day. I promise. Ah, oh, thank God. <laughs> hype. Hype, hype, hype. I wonder if you're better off finding that if you just, like, if you don't get it in, like, your first ten swings of the day, you kind of just sleep it off. Um, okay, so we've planted all our seeds. We've got our fishing pole, everything. We've got our horse. Awesome. We're on a, We're doing great, honestly. We, that's three power berries down out of eleven. We're getting days of rain now, and I would rather have them later when I don't have the harvest sprite coming to water my plants. <laughs> uh, that's all I wanted. To do. Yeah, so if I don't sleep with the dogs in, dog in my hands here, each of these black screens in between takes like an additional two to four seconds. You get it from Juan's Apple game. We do it in, um, we use, I did it in Goddess, um, on Sauce Font. I don't really need it till anymore. So now we have to do uh, one of my least favorite parts of the game. You have to swing this fishing pole 1,300 times. <laughs> Over the course of a run, we don't do it all at once. I do a lot of it all at once, but not all of it. <laughs> I do a lot, though. Okay, <laughs> okay, chat, let's count. <laughs> Ella's so good about counting, too, and I will take every precaution in my routing to not require me to count because I am so incredibly bad at it. Ella's got chat to count with her, and she's, she's always on top of it. I'm terrible. I'll, I'll, I will finish something like buying 25 items at the end or 50 items at the end and I'll be like, let's do like four more to be safe. Feel that with the bad counting yeah like you'll you'll see me in runs that i have like on the board where i will just get maximum brooches because it's it's easier to tell when i'm done because the basket says you can't have any more <laughs> right exactly <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm getting all this rain on days that I definitely need rain elsewhere. Um, raining in spring is a 25% chance. Summer 10, uh, fall 10. And then snow is, I think, 25 in winter. Might be higher in winter. It snows all the time. So we're going to do one of our one and only in warps right here. He's done, right? Yeah. Gots, I need a free upgrade. Um, so we warp into the inn here to order stuff that we find on TV shopping over the phone. Um, because the inn doesn't open up for like another two hours. No worries, Soren. Get some good sleep. Thank you for the good luck. Water and can starts empty in this game. Good. Um, I don't need those until around spring twenty one. But kind of don't want to risk the rain, you know. We will take that rain, though. We're pretty close on those being done, right? Yeah, 11 days, something like that. That's about right. And um, we got shelves early here, so I don't have to carry that mistral with me forever. <laughs> do another manipulation here. Uh, we're going to do horse race RNG. One of my favorites. <laughs> this one you just uh, mash through. <laughs> That's what makes this game so great. The spaghetti code sometimes. Oh yeah, good. Those are all done. Awesome. That's fantastic, actually. This old man. Oh, he's gonna be so sad. Oh, he said, why is it gonna be so bad? I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> It does have to be sad, it does. That's a rule. Why didn't I grab my basket? Why didn't anyone remind me? <laughs> I'm blind. 
Me too. It's because it's not my fault. It's because the house upgrade happened after I placed the basket inside and it shifted it all the way to the right. Because technically your house like moves all the way to the right and I think the basket stays in the same spot. Honestly, the 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 town theme in this game I could listen to this like and work out like It's too good. Too late or never mention it, that's fair. Welcome to the horse race. Um two forty nine five seventeen. Yeah, that's probably not a uh, good odds. Nope, two wins here. So, um we're gonna YOLO. We're gonna see what the other two horse races are, um, because we get three to bet on. And then uh worst case scenario we reset the day. I love this event. I love it with my whole heart, it's so fun. <laughs> we need a really high multiplier. Um, somewhere around 10. The higher the better, though. We can get away with a little lower, around 6 or 7. But... Everybody cheer for the blue horse. Because if he loses, we gotta reset the day. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. Go. Don't slow down now. Don't let that times 45 horse beat you. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. First try horse race two. Ooh, this is shaping up to be a run. <laughs> Oh, we just we just have to watch the this one now um, for the event to technically end. Um, but what that did was give us 600 brooches, and we're gonna trade or uh, 600 medals, and we're gonna trade those all in for an item called the brooch. It costs 18 medals, and it sells for two grand a piece. And it's uh, gonna give us like 66 grand coming out of here. Whoops. That's a force of habit I have. And I don't know why that I why I mash start there. I have to like fight it. Um, normally, uh, other runners of this game, like Ella, and, uh, I'm sure Mads has, count aloud, or, you know, count with chat. I would, um, count with you guys, but it would be, um, it would be pointless, because we're gonna go until the basket says we can't anymore. <laughs> But it, it is 30 brooches. The basket can hold 30, and then we're going to put an extra 4 in our inventory for an extra 8 grand. What's the point of counting? Exactly. I want all of the money I can possibly get. My goal is that my routing should have exact brooches, like full, or none at all. 
That's the dream. This is, um, horse races, um, essentially the fastest way to make money, um, especially in vanilla gameplay. Um, there is a house you can get in the game called the Town Villa that costs 100 mil, and see me, you can only get a max of, uh, 60k for a horse race. It is, uh, not the easiest feat. I don't know why they put such absolutely astronomical goals in this game. Probably, to, I, I guess, to keep people, you know, harvesting forever, but... <laughs> it is so interesting to me. There we go. Our counting is done. And we'll grab uh, three more for good luck. Why well, wouldn't you want to play Harvest Moon for 15 in-game years? Exactly. Are you crazy? Come on. It's Harvest Moon. Play forever. That's all of them. Sick. We did it. Cool. We only have, like, two more aspects of the game that are RNG-heavy. Three more. Three. Yeah. Now we're going to do something awesome called uh, Groundhog Day. Uh, we're setting up for it. Um, we're setting up a glitch called the uh, 6 a.m. skip that lets us repeat the same day, essentially, but reset all of the values of it um, while still gaining progress for that day. It's very useful in marriage runs. Um, we're going to use it in this to be uh, silly. Where do I want to be for this? Probably... Probably here. Probably the fastest. Yeah, that's Whoops. Um, I'm just lining up here, so I don't have to do it later. We do not need to get married for this run. One of the very few ones we don't. Yep, we're just setting up for 6 a.m. storage. our fishing pole while we can. Yep, we're just going to be collecting essentially a bunch of little achievement items. Little power berries. That increase your overall stamina and fatigue. We did pass out early. That's so interesting. I was I was curious about that because your stamina is higher. Um, your fatigue still goes down at the same rate. Normally that's ten. I'm glad I safety saved there. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Ooh. It's on six. I thought it was on seven. Okay. Um, we're setting up for another glitch here that um, has come to my attention that isn't, it's not it's not used in a lot of other runs. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now we wait. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we just underflowed our stamina. <laughs> uh, we have to wait up until 6 a.m. And um, I don't like wasting that time in this run. So now we have infinite stamina. Um, essentially how that works is when the game hits midnight, it ticks your, uh, your stamina and your fatigue, uh, down one time, um, causing you to pass out, but you can pause frame perfectly on the pass out and save and reload, and the game thinks you have below zero stamina, or at zero, and, uh, it already triggered to pass you out, so guess I might as well just give you all of it. <laughs> And this is super important in this run because we need to swing this um, fishing pole like 1,300 times. This is not working the remake either. I actually used that to get through the mines in my goddess uh, route. Um, because you have to mine so much there. Very nice. Infinite stamina for that. <laughs> oh, we're going to make a safety save real quick. That's why we make safety saves. How long does the infinite stamina last though? Honestly, I've never pushed it to a limit. <laughs> Three, four, five. Okay. Um, so we're gonna save in two spots here. I need one. Well, no, I need one here, that's fine. Um, and we're gonna get a 6 a.m. skip here. Which is frame perfect. Um, we'll be using a lot of them, though. You kinda just get used to it. A little late on my end.
Really? So interesting. Oh, duh. Uh, it's because I had one stored already. There we go. <laughs> um, we're gonna carry this infinite stamina through one more day here. Um, because swinging this 1300 times is extremely time consuming and we might as well do it while we have the infinite stamina. Swing as much as we can while we do. But, um, infinite stamina will last until I sleep once. If it is truly infinite, we're, I guess we'll find out right now. We're gonna swing, uh, we're gonna swing until we can no more. He's increasing the intensity forever, yep. <laughs> A little cursed. <laughs> Is anybody keeping count on how many I've uh, swung? I'm not, I'm not keeping count. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite soundtrack in the game. <laughs> um, normally 6 a.m. triggers a uh, an event that puts you back in your house and loads the next day correctly. We skipped that. I'd be lying if I said it was. <laughs> Somebody's got to be counting. We need 1,300 of these. No, we will, uh, we'll check the meter. I'm just waiting for myself to pass out, actually. Because, I mean, knowing how underflows work, I probably don't have infinite. I probably have very high. But... <laughs> yep. Um, in the winter, if you fish in the ocean, um, you can fish up a power berry there. But your fishing rod has to be at uh, mithril. Thankfully, in this game, you can skip all of the other upgrades in between. <laughs> let's check, shall we? First off, let's save after all those swings. Let's find out. Got our three power berries. Fishing pole is almost a gold. Halfway. When we get to go gold, we'll most likely move on, um, because there are other points in the game where I have to wait um, pretty long for events to happen, and um, we'll level it up the rest of the way there. This is just your classic mash fest. Um, a lot of the tools you can get like a frame perfect mash going and cast like essentially a frame earlier. Um, it's only, I've, I've only noticed it like the most with the hammer or like the ax, but um, it's not too bad.
Almost. It's slow. The the fishing pole is by far the slowest. Uh, I guess the watering can's pretty slow in this too. Gotta love that frame perfect mashing, you know. <laughs> Gotta save those frames. Harvest Moon, frames of Mineral Town. And the girl version, more frames of Mineral Town. <laughs> it's a frame sim. It's a frame sim. Yeah, you know Harvest Moon, the dating, uh... Framing sim. You know, you buy, you buy a frame <laughs> to uh, <laughs> raise some animals and crops on. <laughs> we gotta be pretty close. Oh. See, every time you check it, it just feels worse. We get, you got You guys gotta stop me from checking. We're gonna catch the dog right here, though. Dog strats. Look at him. Look at him roll upside down. What a cutie. This uh, takes a huge tedious portion out of the remainder of this run. <laughs> uh, we probably still have like another 400 swings, maybe 500 after we hit gold, but you know, it do be like that. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. I don't know if anybody's as tired of this song right now as I am, but uh, we're almost done. Right, let's take a look. All right, cool. We are at we are at full gold. We can get mistral pretty soon here. By the brush today. And we're gonna use this opportunity to take a quick bathroom break. Everybody, uh, get up, stretch a little bit, because we're getting into uh, the bulk of this right now. I always forget that it's at 10 and not 9. Oof. 
I'm not used to running this in the girl version of the game, so all of these events that I'm at, like, I accidentally trigger, it's not on me, I promise. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We got the brush. We can start taking care of our horse now. If you enter that frame perfect like that, uh, he's not there yet. <laughs> Even though, you know, we watched him go in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, the second house upgrade. We no longer have to operate on our house at all. Um, that's the Harvest Goddess. Throwing a gift into her pond makes her spawn and ask if you want to connect to GameCube. <laughs> but it also has some other effects, um, like gifting her uh, ten times. Um, she'll give us a Power Berry. comes the fun stuff. like to connect to GameCube. Thank you. Connecting to GameCube unlocks another house for you, the beach house. Um, if you connect to A Wonderful Life, there's some other requirements too, but that is the game that this connects to. Using a um, warp storage there, so I can uh, get to the end a little quicker. Now we're gonna order a ton of TV items. That right there is a 6 a.m. storage. We essentially reset the game there. We tricked it into thinking, um... Uh, thinking that the day reset, but we're still in the same day. We need to get my horse outside as well. 
Uh, so we can start working on leveling him up a little bit. Oops. More frames of Mineral Town! How are you, Ella? You're annoying. Not you guys in chat. Kappa called me annoying there. Uh, cause he's a turd. <laughs> I am so old. I feel that. just wait on the horse. I'm doing great. I'm excited for this run. It's going well. I think it's going well. I hope it's going well. Do you have the power? <laughs> the power berry? I have the power to connect to GameCube, that's for sure. As she asks us. It says this song right, I got the power. I got you, I got you. I know, I got you. What about a power glove? I wish. That'd be a fantastic addition. We should play it every time we find a power berry. That was fantastic. <laughs> The timing right here is a little wonky. It is what it is, I guess. Power Berry Rave Party? I'm in. The dog spawn in a bad spot, so they threw him outside. Where is he? trying to escape. Oh, 11.30. We're cutting this close. It's not a big deal. Yeah, so we definitely miss our delivery today, but that's okay. Uh, power berries are more important. My favorite part is that the Kappa doesn't give you a red one, he just gives you some blue one. Like, bruh, <laughs> where'd you even get this? <laughs> uh, I guess I don't have to warp over here anymore, so... We'll just, uh, A reset and gift now.
Boom, boom, boom. Has anybody been keeping count of this? Um, we're probably around five. That's the dream. To be able to just eat a berry and then you, you can run longer. <laughs> She's a demanding goddess, honestly. I don't know why I turn around there. It's force of habit. You don't have to. Maybe that's a similar concept. Maybe, maybe they're just like normal berries. I wanna pick that dog up real quick. Sit. Um, side effect of the 6 a.m. glitch is that like everybody's affection values reset so I can gain it over and over again in the same day. Um, like the flag where they already gained affection for that day is reset. So, um, we can pick up the dog and put him down a bunch of times. Normally your dog doesn't level up and- or doesn't level up. Your dog doesn't grow up, um, to be an adult dog until, um, fall first. Um, we're gonna bypass that because I want to win the power berry the first time the dog- the frisbee contest happens. And your dog has to be an adult, so we're gonna break some stuff. It's just a huge placebo effect. They don't actually do anything. of a grindy part of the run a lot of this is a little bit of the grindy part of the run but <laughs> we are making progress towards two power berries right now and our third will be on summer one i like strawberry yogurt a lot Uh, no, we actually rescheduled it. Um, RV, uh, PA had something come up, so we rescheduled it for, uh, later this week. It'll be f my first of eight. Everybody should, uh, check that, uh, check out the, uh, the league. <laughs> Fun stuff. <laughs> so I had some more time to sleep before my run, which was awesome. So I had no problem rescheduling. I was like, yes, say no more. You're good. But yeah, I've got eight this season. <laughs> That's true, Zach. I do have nothing to ship today. I called Harvey to postpone it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. My IRL event run. Or just walk around on my legs. We gotta be close, right? How many is that? We're missing four from the center of two nines, 18, so I have 14 cucumbers. I probably have four in my bag, so when we make it all the way around, we'll know we're at 10. Right? Something like that. So we're pretty close. 64 randomizer. I 
That's what I do when I'm not on the farm. <laughs> Best one right there. Totally agree. I couldn't agree more. Love it. Um, a side effect of, yeah, a side effect of having infinite stamina, um, triggered is you won't trigger the town song at your 6am skip, so, anyone wants to try this, be aware that it does not work like that. <laughs> Which one is my all-time favorite? This one. Well, Friends of Mineral Town. I like DS a lot also. I grew up playing DS a lot. Um, uh, my babysitter, who was my cousin, um, always had me playing Back to Nature. So Mineral Town was my next progression. I'm a really big fan of Mad Dash. No, uh, Friends of Mineral Town is my favorite. I do like a lot of them, though. This should be the last gift of the Kappa. He always takes one more because I believe the first one you throw doesn't count because it's you being introduced. Yeah, I was just being, I was just being a little sarcastic. Mad dashes. I have speed ran Mad Dash, but <laughs> it's but it's not my favorite. And it's that easy. Well, that puts us at uh, five, right? Five? Yeah. We're uh, almost halfway there. The rest of them come a lot quicker. Is Mad Dash horrible? No. Is it amazing? No. <laughs> so, uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna wait a few days. Um until uh, next Saturday. Get a bunch of my TV shopping items using the 6 a.m. skips and, uh, you know, Groundhog Day and the whole thing. And then, um, hopefully by then our dog, um, grows up. The dog takes 75 in-game days, um, and that includes all of the 6 a.m. skips because the game thinks it has progressed today. Uh, so we will be stopping on the 28th here to get the rest of them. We should only need around uh, 25 more. And then our dog will be uh, grown up in 30 days. <laughs> Did I do a Mad Dash marriage speedrun? Just, just any percent. Just complete the game. <laughs> uh, do I want to save today? No. Thank you. 
We need to set up a little arena uh, that eventually the horse will uh, live his entire life in. Um, because we need that. We need him as close to the house as he can be. to me. Uh, there's a the phone is my least favorite thing to see. That means um, the TV shopping I checked at the beginning of the day today or last week don't count because I never picked up my kitchen, which is this whole convoluted order of and hierarchy of TV shopping items and you have to receive certain ones first and yeah, so now the mixer is there because the kitchen is technically in my house. So now if I go and walk back there and do the exact same thing, uh, I'll be able to order from the uh, TV shopping network. That was one of the things I was really happy they removed in uh, Sauce Fomped. You can just buy all the TV shopping items from Jeff <laughs> and save a lot of hassle. Um, although we don't have to get married in this run, we still have to buy all of the uh, TV shopping items because after you get the large bed and the carpet, you buy a power berry from the TV shopping network. <laughs> so not even in this run can we avoid carpet. Thankfully the runs in the remake of this game are uh, significantly faster. And the reload times and gaining affection and money. We don't have to buy all of our TV items here. I just prefer to buy a majority here. So we don't have to worry. This is just a large series of frame perfect tricks, but th it's not too bad. Um, essentially what we're doing is um, every two days you get a, um, a TV item. Or, so every Saturday you can check the TV shopping network and that lets you order one new item. And then it takes two days to be delivered. Um, so what we're doing is we're resetting the day twice here after ordering the item. Getting it delivered the same day. Um, like if we had Amazon Prime. Uh, <laughs> some nice over... Some, some real nice overnight deliveries from Zach here. And then immediately going and ordering another one. So we order a TV item there, load our slot to get a 6 a.m. Uh, storage, a 6 a.m. skip, load back in that same slot, and in the game's mind, advance a day. But we're still in the same day. Do it again. In the game's mind, advance a day. Our package gets delivered that we just ordered. Yeah. 
we go and check the TV shopping network for the new item and then go and order it. We pick up our dog and we put him down a little bit. And um, the reason we're doing this here is because we might as well. Um, because we need to do this. We need to do 6 a.m. skip at least 30 times. Um, like 30, but like 45 times from the start of the game onward uh, to get the dog to grow up before summer one. That's what happens if you miss it. It costs a little bit of time, but not it's nothing terrible. There I was a frame early. Um it is it is a frame perfect trick to get 6 a.m. skip. Um There are a lot of cues for it though. That one might have been it actually. Sometimes you get in a bad rhythm like this too where you just keep missing it. There you go. Um, that's my visual cue. I, I know I have it if I pause while I'm in between my walking animation, where I'm swinging my arm out. But it's, uh, two steps. It's two and a, it's like two and a half steps. There is so many TV items. Why do I bring the dog? Um, sometimes it's easier than putting it down. <laughs> um, Anne's heart event can trigger inside the inn too sometimes. I don't know if it can trigger on Saturdays if I'm being completely honest, but having the dog in my hand prevents that from ever happening, so. <laughs> if we needed a, like a real explanation. It's safer. <laughs> Plus it reminds me to pick him up and put him down for some more affection. Which is super important. I hope my dog race goes well. Throw my frisbee. Contest, not a, it's not a dog race. You, you throw the frisbee, and your dog catches it. Hopefully. The more items we get here, the better off we are later in the run. The dog is probably pretty close to growing up. Because only adult dogs can play in the frisbee contest, sadly. Um, the frisbee contest is um, a really neat and unique little mechanic, and I'll explain it a little bit when we get there. But, um... It used to be thought that you had to... Uh, like, have a lot of affection with your dog and, um, practice frisbee and stuff like that. You can win it with nothing. With no experience, no affection with your dog, nothing. It's just a little tricky. Alright. 
Are we get our frying plan delivered here? How many more items are we missing? Uh, just the pot after that. Um, because we're in, like, resetting the day of the game, like, we're tricking the game into thinking we, we've loaded a new day, um, the weather can change. <laughs> Alright, so that's the last kitchen item. That means we just need three more. Table. Uh, the problem is we're cutting it a little close here. It's 1040 and 50, about to be 11. So that means we're, um, we're going to be missing out maybe on the last item, which is okay. Oh, we forgot mirror, so yeah, we'll definitely be missing out on it. But we will get that power berry the next possible chance we can, if not right here. This will be large bed or carpet. Um, in a marriage run, you would pray, you would pray that this is large bed, which it is. Hype, large bed hype. Getting married in this run, we have to buy everything. We might actually be able to get it. We might be able to just get the shopping berry straight up today. Whoops. Not if we keep making mistakes like that. There it is, the carpet. Yep, all of the funds that we have right now are from the um, the six pink diamonds, and um, and all of the money we got from the, the the horse race. So we got sixty grand and sixty grand, sixty grand from pink diamonds, sixty grand from the horse race, and that's uh, enough to carry us through this run. Barely, but it's enough. Hooray, he delivered my least favorite item in this game. The cursed carpet.
Ooh, we made it barely. Nice. The way over to the power bear, we gotta wait the uh, two days for it to get delivered, and my dog matured right on time. That's hype. I was worried I had to have I would have to do a little bit extra. It's always the last one like this to get you. That puts us at six. Yeah, we just need to sleep here. Let's, uh, let's put one of these away, shall we? Actually, I don't need like a majority of these. I always feel so bad doing this, but it must be done. <laughs> For the sake of the speed run. Important stuff. Let's go win the frisbee contest. That'll put us at seven, and then we just need four more, and two of those are really free. Yep, Trevin the horse. That way we don't have to walk super far to get to him. Looks cozy. He's just he's in a nice little space. He's got he's got his own little space. He's all right. He's good. He's having a good time. Oh, I'm ready. 
Nope. Do I still have it in me? Get it. Get it! Ooh! Perfect try first time! <laughs> the rest of my throws don't even matter. He's such a good boy. <laughs> Goated dog, for real. <laughs> Absolute legend. Let's all give a round of applause to the dog. Or a salute to the dog, because we're no longer going to use him. But, an abs the goodest boy. The absolute goodest boy. Caught that first try, no resets. Where do they put him? They kind of need him. Yo, Cass! Thanks for the raid. Hi. Hi. Gil, you're the goat. Cass, you're the goat. <laughs> Let's uh, save after that, shall we? Good luck, have fun, go fast. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going fast. I'm going fast. We only uh, need what? Um, yeah, four more power berries. Easy. Easy peasy. This is the hardest lineup right here. There we go. I just see a horse. So many goats. <laughs> uh, let's check where my uh, fishing rod is at, shall we? Wow, that's really far away still. I hate that. Uh, ba 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 ba. Yeah, sure. We just need to, um, like, brush our horse. A lot. This chat is filled with goats. You guys are all amazing. Thank you guys so much for coming out here for the Harvest Moon uh, Valentine's Day Marathon. It means a lot to us in the community. I'm sure it means a lot to y'all who are fans of Harvest Moon. It's just overall a good time. What if you want horses? That's fair. <laughs> Tape a bunch of cats together. It depends. I, I mean, so this is a really cool trick. Um, I'm going to teach you guys right here, right now. <laughs> um, how storms work in this game is actually really interesting. All the storms do is add a sound effect and lock you from going outside of your house. Everybody else goes about their day normally. So if you can warp out of your house, it doesn't matter if it's storm. You can go shopping. You can see everyone. You can give out gifts. Everything. It's fantastic. Tornadoes? Forget about it. <laughs> Who's a good horse? This, shows, this is some Truman Show level of conspiracy. I totally agree. That's perfect. <laughs> That's the perfect way to put it. It's a light wind. It's a little breezy out. Rick is like literally outside at 6 a.m. just working on the farm. Like, is it, is it raining? We need to start saving. Not this early, I guess. I'm a little nervous about my horse being kidnapped, but we don't have to worry about that yet. Long story short, um, your horse takes 120 in-game days to mature, which is way too long. We need him to mature in, like, 78 instead. Um, so we'll keep, you know, uh, tricking the game into thinking where we've got more days than we actually do. Um, the problem is, when your horse matures, Barley, the guy who gave you him, um, comes to inspect how well he's doing. <laughs> and if he loves you enough. We don't want Barley to come and check that, because we don't want Barley to see that we've been mistreating our horse and for him to take him away. <laughs> so, uh, we got a couple workarounds for it.
It already looked big and strong to me. Like, why can't I ride it? You can definitely ride this horse. Look at this pony. That's a big pony. Am I resetting the day for the horse? I will when we get closer to the date that I need the horse to be grown up by. So right now we're kind of just progressing the game. Um, because the next day where I can get power berries is fall 18. And we need our horse to be an adult by fall 17. And along the way we're going to give him nice pets and scritches. He's a good horse. Um, the reason we're giving him pets and scratches and uh, brushes and whatnot um, is because the horse... You have to win the horse race while riding your horse. Um, <laughs> which is not easy. Um, unless your horse is at really, really high affection. Um, so we're trying to get the horse as high as we can before then. Just in case. Um, you can win it with as low as three hearts, but you're looking at a lot of resets and hoping you get really good RNG. I don't need to pet the dog, um, because I got power berries already, exactly, but I do have to sleep holding the dog to save two seconds on this black screen per night, and, uh, putting him down is just a consequence of that because I need to brush the horse. And I cannot brush him with the dog in my hand, sadly. And horse affection uh, decays really fast. Really fast. So we have to do this every day. And it does not go up very fast. It takes forever. It's awful. That's because they don't expect you to do the horse race, though, until uh, fall year two. And uh, I'm not about that. I'm not about this. If I'm not finishing all the power berries in year one, you know? Spending more than one year in a Harvest Moon game? Come on. Come on. Back outside during the storm. The winds began to churn. We can see Rick outside uh, coming up here on our uh, left. Just hanging out. There he is. Good boy. Heading to the farm. <laughs> Come on. It's such a tight lineup. But yeah, normally the uh, the storms prevent you from leaving your house. It'll say, oh, it's a little dangerous out there to go out in this storm or something like that. Let's give it a let's get a nice little safety save in here. Uh, my horse probably won't even be close to maturing for like another 30 days, so I can probably wait on the safety saves, but better be safe than sorry. got a nice little pen there. He's doing fine. He's, he's got all he needs out there. He's got food with the grass <laughs> that he can barely reach. <laughs> and he gets brushed every day. What, what more could you ask for? Thank you. 
But yeah, we're kind of just doing this until, uh, like, fall 15. Hear me out on this, alright? A two square foot by two square foot pen. Yeah, and then I don't have to worry about the lineup. Problem is, I gotta get, I gotta... Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, are you talking, like, actual, like, squares in the game, or are you talking, like, this pen is perfect for him, right? I could make it one bigger. The problem is, I don't like going and picking up sticks and stones. Oh, uh, we know Barley probably won't come today to steal my horse, right? It's not- my horse isn't close enough yet. I know he's not. I know this. Four times the quality of life. That's what I'm talking about. Incredible returns. See, look at that. We, we took the dog out on accident, and now, now what are we going to do? We're lucky the dog stayed there. <laughs> Sometimes he likes to just take off. I could make your pen bigger. But the frames... We got the horse, spring 4, 120 days, the dog hit 75, so we'll say the dog hit 70, probably the same age as the horse then, the start of summer. So the dog's probably like 92, around 90. Horse living his worst life. <laughs> We just gotta go fast, all right? <laughs> and then we treat the horse like this, right? And then the horse wins the horse festival for us, wins the horse race. It's a, it's a fair trade, honestly. Makes sense. <laughs> it's the law of equivalent exchange. I give him a one by one pen and brush him. He wins me millions of dollars. <laughs> it knows what would happen if it didn't win. <laughs> yeah, rain. Rain's never good for him, but we go out and make sure he's alright anyway. Implication. <laughs> you know, he'll he'll win the race because of the implication. Come on. How's he looking? Two already? Ooh, spicy. This is going well. Going real well. Going a little too well. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> this horse in danger? No, no, this horse is fine. <laughs> What's actually really funny in this run is, um, you guys will all see it, um, if I don't, like, or if I hit, like, four, four hearts on him, um, it might be, like, higher than that to actually keep him, and I know, um, when I've run this before, like, I'll win the horse race with this horse, and then Barley will come and take him and be like, you've been mistreating this horse, and I'll be like, bruh, 
Look how well he is, though. Like, look at look at this absolute stallion. He won me the big bucks. You can take him if you want. <laughs> He's a winner, alright? <laughs> we don't raise losers on this farm. <laughs> I don't know about you, Barley, with your little your little cow farm. <laughs> but we raise champions here. His decay would be a lot bigger if I skipped a day, so not doing that. <laughs> And fall. No, I do not want to sing in the festival. I'm sorry. I do. I want to interact with the people in this town as little as possible, sir. I've come here to make my fortune and eat power berries. <laughs> and I'll be damned if anyone's going to get in my way. Make sure you guys are all staying hydrated. Make sure you're getting up and stretching and whatnot. Nah, I'm good, dude. I think so. You're trying to sell me your scam apples. That are required in some runs of this game. Sorry for the yawning. Um, it's like 5:30 a.m. here, and I'm uh, gonna. I'm kind of trying to decide if I want to ask my old man when he gets up if he wants to make some coffee, or if I'll, I'll just wait and make it after the run. There's a lot of grindy parts in the Power Berries run, but I think overall it's a really neat run. It Im implements a lot of tricks and you gotta do a lot of micro macro, which I really like. What kind of coffee do I like? Ugh, anything. Just black though. I like a real dark roast. Um. If I go to a coffee shop, I'll get like an Undertale, or like a, I'll get like a double shot of espresso with um, like a splash of vanilla and a splash of milk. That's about it though. Bring something good. You got it, Thomas. Be sure to be there. Mocha latte? I can respect that. That's hype.
I feel like, uh, like whenever I say I like, like I just like black coffee, people are like, um, they kind of associate you with like, oh, you think you, you think you're better than me, like. <laughs> I just don't like, I just don't like cream and sugar. I don't like sweet. I don't like things that are sweet. <laughs> Very rarely. <laughs> Come on. We're getting close to horse race too. People are strangely upset by that. Like I, I can't, I kid you not. <laughs> yeah. I don't want your vase either, sir. However, you can put a turnip in the vase and just break it permanently, which is awesome. We're getting dangerously close to when Barley's gonna kidnap our horse. I don't actually know how many 6 a.m. skips I have to do here, like exactly until our horse is mature, but it's pretty. We'll be pretty close. Taking the dog to bed does. It saves two seconds per... It saves between two to three seconds per um, loading between days during that black screen. I can actually show it real quick. Um, so this is me sleeping without the dog. Bad with better and acidic stuff. That's fair. Isn't that wild? Isn't that wild that that time difference? It's crazy. Appreciate the flavor of coffee itself without the extra stuff. I think if you're you're drinking coffee, that's cool with me. <laughs> if you're just trying to stay awake, do it however you can. If you're trying to get up in the morning, whatever works best. It's so long. It is so much longer. Like two to three seconds. It's insane. Okay, so today's the day where we gotta do the real cool stuff. Today's the day our horse needs to grow up. So we gotta do some more 6am skips. And uh, essentially with this, we're doing a frame perfect trick on our other save and loading it into our data one slot and tricking the game into thinking that the game the day has progressed <laughs> and that's what happens when we miss it you lose a little bit of time to reload one frame early. Two frames early. One frame early. Oh, somebody stopped me. There we go. We have to do this like an unrealistic amount of times here because we need our horse to be big and strong. So the more consistent we get these, the better. Thank you. 
We're essentially time traveling. <laughs> We're time traveling and hoping the horse just gets older. Groundhog Dang, if you will. Should be getting pretty close. I hope. I know it does take a lot. We should be somewhere in the 100, like between 100 and 110. And we need to hit 120 days of the horse living here. So we probably get another 15, 6 a.m. skips, another 15 groundhog days. We're landing my frame perfects here. Better than I do in like, not marathon settings. <laughs> better, better than I do in PB attempts. Come on, buddy. Grow up big and strong. So we can speed run. So we can do things fast. Where am I going? I'm getting ahead of myself. I want him to I want him to be adult horse already. Just big horse things. Come on. I'm landing these surprisingly well. I had to say something. Ah, <laughs> oh, awesome. Four hearts. We should be good. We should be good. Big horse hype. I don't want him to decay out of four hearts, so we're gonna warp out real quick. Um, because if I go out my front door, Barley will kidnap him. They just sprout a saddle and saddlebags, exactly right? <laughs> so cool. <laughs> it's just part of the horse aging process, you know. 
crazy. Nature's incredible. Where is he? Bro. I whistled for you and you didn't come. Why are you like this? Where are you going? It's a damn shame you can't ride your horse outside of your house in this game. Like, what's the point of him being Speed Racer then? Dude, what's my horse pattern? <laughs> Alright, let's register our horse for the horse race! We did it! <laughs> now let's win it! This is the heaviest part of the RNG in the game! still have 8,000 it's horse racing time So I gotta get this fishing rod leveled up. So I know it's going to be soul crushing looking. Yep. A quarter of the way there. To the final level of this fishing rod. 1300 swings from start to finish. Almost. Almost in time. The music. I always try to aim for it with the fishing rod. Fun fact, the game has a mechanic in this for horse races, you know, so I can ride my horse. And um, it requires you to essentially press the A button in a rhythm, um, kind of like akin to like Mario Party 3's horse racing minigame where like you have a carrot, like, like to Ocarina of Time, like you have essentially a number of carrots and you don't want to exceed that, otherwise it recharges slower. But I have found just mashing through all of your carrots is significantly easier and better. <laughs> Slightly off from the car in front of you. I know that. I know that feeling. <laughs> Alright guys. Let's pray for good RNG. Otherwise we just have to wash these again.
many medals do we have? They're not gonna tell me. That'll do. They, they're always like that. It's awful. <laughs> it's only this hard because we're doing it so early in the run and my horse only has four affection. <laughs> four hearts. Alright, that's another two power berries. Two left. <laughs> My hand actually hurts from that mash. That was way too close. That was so stressful. <laughs> Player sweating profusely. <laughs> we would have lost that if I played to the rhythm <laughs> that the game intends. Remember to stretch and rest your mashing arm well. Big fact. Everybody needs to always remember that. Um, normally after I do a hard mashing run like this, I will uh, not do one the next day. Also, I, um, I work on my wrist health a lot. Very important. Purple tunnel's not fun. Switch hands to a lot of my mash. Almost seven months now, yep. We not passed out yet. There it is. It's three. Why do I why do I keep miscounting that? I keep thinking that it's on like it was on four. One, two, three. Okay.
No, I missed the horse race. It was, uh, it's my first time first trying the horse race ever. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, yeah, with unlimited stamina. <laughs> Look at all our little champions. I love fishing. That's a big thing. That's a big theme on my stream, fishing. We need to get the fishing head out, I think, if we're going to be fishing for this power berry. This, this is my life. This is what I get for wearing that hat all day. All right. Y'all are ready. It's time to fish. Now that is a hat, it is, I agree. We're almost there. I frame perfect that the first time. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's my fishing hat. We do a lot of hats on my stream. I have a ton. That's my copy pasta fishing hat. And I'm a very big fan of. I got the auto music with this effect, yep. Does everybody else come outside in this state? They do, okay, we're fine then. Let's uh, level it up today.
This music slaps. It's the single best soundtrack in the game. We're uh, kind of on like a really, really good pace. <laughs> like, we had perfect horse race RNG one. We had perfect horse race two. We're like, we're like on a dangerously good pace. So close. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Alright. Now we just have the last two berries. Easy peasy. <laughs> I mean, the rest is bad too, you know, but. <laughs> Fair. And the last two ones we can't get until winter, so we're going to sleep until winter. We're on a really good pace, Desert. <laughs> uh, we have two left, back of mine berry and fishing berry. And my fishing rod is already in the process of being upgraded. Uh, if Ella's not ready yet, though, I can show some of the the weird glitches in this game that do nothing for us but are neat. If you need me to kill some time. Sounds fun. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> yeah, first try both horse races is kind of ridiculous. It doesn't happen when I go for PB attempts. Do I like the style of Sauce, uh, Sauce of Wonderful Life? I do. Do it. Do it. Take the horse. Oh no. Good. We took good enough care of him. We're good. We're fine. <coughs> he let us keep the horse too? That's so hype. Yay, no more hallucinating music. This is my least favorite power berry to get, uh, because I wish I could get it any other time but now. <coughs> you can't, you can't reach it. Uh, with the way Nick Slip works, you just zip all the way through um, piles that you can't walk on, and you cannot activate anything during it. It's very frustrating. Yep, fishing's maxed out. We're waiting to pick up the finished rod now. Are we getting more hallucination music later? Sadly, no. <laughs> Uh, Desert, I don't want you to have to worry about getting ready on time, or on the timer, but this is RNG here. <laughs> we either fish it up or we don't. I still have to flash up a menu, but... Uh, technically this game doesn't have this run yet, but I'm definitely faster than my previous time. This was, this was a really good run. <laughs> I hate when that happens. So, uh, this should be, this should be world recce. This could take a couple in-game days, though. This is literally just RNG.
Yep, this is the last one. Fishing for last. That was probably it. I always notice that I catch it way later in the day, and I wonder if that's because, like, the pool of fish is lower. Come on. The River King all over again. Yeah, it's a really good time. I'm excited regardless. I'm glad to have this run. A good run. It's just always this difficult to catch. It's a very low spawn chance. Sub 320. That's insane. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, that was a, that was a really good run. <laughs> uh, that was. <laughs> um, before this, technically in the other version of the game, which they're considered separate categories, is 320 something. This one is though. That's so hype. <gasps> we take those. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. It was really fun. I, I appreciate you guys sticking around for it. It was really hype. You guys were awesome. <laughs> 319. We, like, we beat that. We beat, like, or estimate by like an hour. <laughs>